Roblox just fully broke again, but this time it's a bit different. Roblox just announced a huge new update and more insane news today. And we're trying to reach 4,000 subs and we're getting so close, so please subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, first let's start with Roblox completely breaking again. And as I mentioned, this time it's a bit different. Usually when Roblox completely breaks and stuff, it's like a lot of times people just can't play the game. And this happening today, but also a lot of different aspects of Roblox are also breaking. Let me just show you what's going on. So kind of the main thing going on right now is that Roblox avatars are completely broken and being completely glitched right now. And it's not only happening in the avatar editor, but also in game as well. And a lot of people just can't like use their avatars right now. Their avatars keep breaking. And overall, the avatar editor and people's avatars in general just keep breaking. As we can see in this video, for example, this person's avatar is being like a bit weird and glitchy and they ended up changing it. And right when they go into a game, it actually completely changed your avatar. And what avatar they saw in the avatar editor wasn't the same avatar that they actually got in game. And because of this, you know, it's obviously getting people and making people harder to see like what avatars they're going to use and stuff. And as we can see, it wasn't even a little bit off. Like, the entire avatar is glitched, and even like the body type is completely changed as well. And it's not just that, as we can see in other posts here, like a lot of people's created packages and stuff are also being completely broken and displaying different body types and stuff. And we've seen this happen before especially when like items get deleted. But typically when that happens, you know, just a deleted item gets removed and everything else works fine. But in this case, I mean, first, these items aren't even deleted, so that won't even be the case. But even if they were, you know, the typical stuff's not happening. No matter what, if the item's deleted or anything, for some reason, Roblox's system is completely broken right now. And it's changing people's avatars and their avatar packages. And right now, a lot of people just can't use the avatar editor and they can't change their avatar. And on top of that, their avatar keeps glitching. So a lot of people right now just have to stick with like their glitched avatar because there's no way of changing it. And I've seen a few tweets popping about this recently, but I wouldn't check Rolls' comment section. And if you go to their comments on like their TikTok, for example, literally everybody's talking about this. Like look here, for example, I clicked on the newest TikTok and all the top comments are people saying, you know, fix the avatar glitch. Right here it says Roblox fix their avatars. Roblox, please fix the avatar glitch. You know, why is my avatar not loading? And everyone right now is experiencing like this avatar glitch. Now, from what I've seen, the majority of people having this glitch, or maybe all of them, seem to be on mobile. And it seems to be a majority mobile glitch I've seen. And all these tweets and comments, uh, you can just see how bad this issue has gotten. And what's interesting is that I saw this post, like I saw something about this recently, and it was only like one post like a week ago. And it seems like ever since that post, it's gotten way worse, and it's gotten like way worse for a lot of people. But it doesn't end here because not only is Roblox broken in just like this front, but a lot of people just can't play the game as well. And it's a new kind type of glitch. As we can see in the screenshot, and for mobile actually once again. When a lot of people went to join a game or play any game, it would just pop up like a white screen and then just completely crash. And no matter what game they chose or what anything they did, it just would keep doing this over and over again, which is pretty insane. Typically when we see glitches and stuff happen with Roblox, people not being able to play Roblox, it's always or a majority time on PC. So the fact that we're seeing glitches like this pop on mobile now is a pretty big issue. And right now, the avatar glitch in combination with people not being able to play the game in general, is causing roles to be fully broken for a lot of people. And as I mentioned, a lot of this seems to be for mobile users especially. Like the glitch is happening for mobile people where they can't play, and a majority of people who avatars are broken are on mobile as well. So I don't know what's going on with mobile right now, but it's completely broken for a lot of people. However, I'm pretty sure I did see this glitch happen on PC to a few people, but the majority of people are saying it's on mobile. Which is pretty insane because a lot of people just can't change their avatars or like mess around with their avatars, and then a lot of people just can't play the game as well. But anyways, with that being said, let's move to our next story. We've actually some good Roblox news recently. RTC News for us saying, Rolls has announced a major improvement, server pre-warming. Users can now join a server as quickly as an already existing server. Server. This is available for every game. And as we can see in the video, you can now launch to a game so much quicker. The left side is obviously the new version and the right side is how it used to be or it is currently. And as we can see, you can load into a game in like seconds now, and it's way faster than it was before. And it's actually like a really good update. If you guys remember, they did improve this recently, or not recently, like a while ago, and now they improved it yet again, which is actually pretty insane. And this is a pretty good update because you can get to a Rolls game pretty quickly now. And everyone seems pretty excited by this and pretty like happy about this because it's a pretty good Rolls update. In general, servers don't take that long to get into, but if you're trying to join some servers and some bigger games especially, it does take some time. But now, as you can see, it's pretty quick and just simple and in general it's probably one of the better roles updates we've seen in a while you know they've been on a pretty big streak of like bad updates but we finally got something that's actually pretty decent and with that being said i don't think this update is released just yet but they did announce it and it should be coming soon but anyways with that being said let's get into our next story of well in typical fashion more bad news so recently on roblox for some reason i've seen so much posts about this recently where a lot of people just aren't getting their robux so for example when people like sell an item or you know have pending robux in general in any way 
it's taking longer for people to get robots for some reason. Now typically when you get like a sale or you have pending robots in general, it should take like a week at max to get the robux and that's what typically people expect. But I've seen so much posts recently people saying that it's been almost a month now and they still haven't gotten their robux. I've seen this post here saying that it's been 20 days and then recently I've seen other posts of people saying that you know they've had refunds for so long and they haven't gotten it and for some reason it seems to be like a glitch going on right now where pending robux and transactions are taking way longer than usual and obviously a lot of people are getting concerned at this because they're wondering like are they going to even get the robux because i also have seen other posts of people being like they got a refund months ago and they haven't got the robux back but to be fair i'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't know that when you got an item refund previously you actually had to go into the message and claim it for some reason they have removed that since but if you have old refunds and roll sends you a message about it you actually have to go into the message and click like agree to like the agreement so a lot of people were missing robots because of that because they didn't know that was a thing because i'm pretty sure they removed it now it just happens automatically but besides that people who just have pending roles in general like not from refunds or anything are also having a glitch where they're not receiving the robux and i see so much posts about this recently and more popping up every day and for some reason Roblox systems I guess completely slowed down or something's going on because it's taking people way longer now to get their robux because obviously a lot of people you know they might be waiting on this robux to buy an item or like buy a limited or something and then maybe by the time they get the robux the limited's gone so it's a pretty big issue going on and in general it's pretty crazy that a lot of people just aren't even receiving their robux it should happen eventually obviously but I don't know why for some reason recently it's taking way longer than usual. But anyways, with that being said, let's move to our next story. People being angry at Roblox and actually a popular developer. So has them on like his old account. At first I thought it was a fake account, but has them does follow it, so it's real. He basically just put out this tweet saying, swear word this, I'm not logging in anymore. And as we can see, the roles capture once again is getting super annoying for a lot of people. So as we can see in the screenshot, has him trying to log in and he keeps saying this annoying capture where it says, click the arrows to sum the dice and match the number on the left. What? Wait, I just read this for the first time. I didn't even know is that crazy so you have to pick the image which add up to the number on the left i'm pretty sure is that what it's saying i don't even know i mean yeah in general it's a pretty crazy captcha especially when you consider most captures are just like you click one button or you have to identify like simple objects but for some reason rolls has had a history of just having the most annoying captures and they're kind of known for this at this point like i don't know why roblox has the most insane and the most annoying captures out of everything i've ever seen and sometimes like i feel like what well, i'm saying here because sometimes when i'm logging in I get some dumb captures like this and I literally just can't do it for some reason or I just keep failing over and over again because like the way it's worded and like the image and stuff it makes it confusing for a lot of people and obviously you know most people will eventually figure it out and stuff but you have to consider the fact that a lot of little kids and stuff probably try logging into Roblox and they get stuff like this you know they might not just be able to solve it and in general like the captures have been so annoying for so long and it seems to be getting worse and as we can see people are getting pretty angry and fed up by Roblox because it's taking so long to get into their account. And if we read the comments here, a lot of people are saying that it's happening to them as well, where they have to redo captures like a bunch of times just to get it, and they keep getting super long and annoying captions. Because not only are these captures annoying, like you're probably thinking like, oh, you probably figure one out, then it's fine. As you can see in the top, it says one of nine. So you don't just do this one time and then you're fine. You have to do this nine times. And if you fail one, you have to restart all over again, which why, which is what makes it so annoying. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen somewhere it's like 20 or something like crazy like that. So in general, everyone's pretty annoyed at Roblox and everyone keeps saying that their captions are so bad. And they've been like this for so long, I don't know why. But as you can see, everyone's pretty angry at them right now. Anyways, with that being said, let's move to our next story of something that's gonna crash Roblox soon. Lost Wars is definitely one of the biggest games on Roblox right now. And when the update, especially like every single time it breaks Roblox, and just recently they announced a new update. They uploaded this video recently, kind of going over the new update. And in the comments or in the description, they mentioned that the update is releasing this Thursday at 9 p.m. EST. Kind of a random day and time. You know, typically people do the weekend midday, but they're doing it at nighttime for some reason. But even then, I think this will definitely crash and break Roblox, especially when you consider how hyped this update is. Like I knew Blocks Fruits was a massive game, but I'm actually surprised at this. They uploaded this video six hours ago and it already has almost two million views. Two million views for just a trailer for one update is actually wild. Like to put this into perspective, Pet Simulator 99 announcing a whole game, not an update, got like one million views. But Blocks was announcing an update, nothing like a whole new game or anything, has two million views in only six hours. And the big games video has like one million or 1.5 million views in like a while now. Obviously I'm not trying to hate on like Pet Simulator or anything, you know. I'm just trying to show like how insane this update is and how much people care for this game. Game. So this update will definitely crash and break Roblox I feel like and it's actually insane how much hype there is around this update and how much like just in general how popular the game is and also today I'm pretty sure speaking of Pet Simulator the day I'm recording this and probably uploading this Pet Simulator did have an update 
and I'm pretty sure it did break and crash Roblox for a little bit. Roblox didn't fully shut down like it usually does, but it was experiencing issues. However, I think with the Bloxverse update, it probably will like fully shut down and break the website. I guess we have to wait and see though, because to be fair to Roblox, the website hasn't fully gone down in a while, and they have a pretty good streak going on right now. But anyways, with it all being said, if you enjoyed, check out this video to find out why Roblox is feeling pretty boring right now. I'll see you next one.